Uh, we're the uh, Agricultural Systems Management uh, Senior Design Team at Ohio State down in Columbus. Uh, today we're going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, our capstone project, uh, how it came to be, and uh, what our plan is. Uh, and then also we're going to go into just how to figure out what uh, kind of software you guys want to implement on your farms. Okay. So our project is a precision software comparison tool. Um, so if you've ever been online and you've been trying to search for a GIS uh, software to incorporate into your operation, uh, there's a lot of information out there and it, it can be difficult. So um, a real world example of this, uh, during my internship last summer, my um, employer stated that he was thinking about incorporating a uh, software into their operation to work with client data. Um, so, Sorry. no, you're fine. You guys good. So um, me and my team saw this as an opportunity. So uh, what we created, uh, once it's published, um, we are going to house information on various um, products regarding farm management and predictive data analytics software. Okay, a lot of mics here. All right, so uh, something that we're going to implement into our project here is uh, the product descriptions, basically a little bit of description of what the product does, um, just some basics on that kind of thing. Um, then a list of features, maybe some features you'd like to see implemented into your own operation as well as pricing, the all-important pricing, how much is it going to cost you um, per year or annually and everything like that. And then uh, at the end, we want to have a side-by-side -side feature comparison. Um, maybe you compare climate and uh, ag leader, and you're going to see those different features in those softwares and then compare the two. Okay, and then our first slide old question, sorry, I'm loud. Um, if you want to take out your phones, is uh, what factor is most valuable to you when deciding on a software? Maybe that's pricing. Maybe that's some of the different features, um, stuff like that. And we have different uh, options for you there on Slido. So if you want to go ahead and answer that for us, that would be great. Everybody good? Good. I've got two mics here. Can you hear me? So a couple of the things that we found when we go through the, the features is uh, we tried to, I guess, standardize a lot of the features that we see throughout all of these different systems. And it's very difficult to do that because a lot of them have different names and things like that. What we came up with is uh, very basically it's abil uh, a software's ability to read and upload um, data to Precision Ag displays and then, uh, and then bring that back to your essentially main station and process that. Um, and then also your spatial data, which pretty much makes everything tick, your soil maps, your NPK, things like that, uh, yield monitoring when you're all said and done, that will help you generate your profit maps and things like that later on for your multi-year analysis um, later on. So these are some of the features that we saw um, that were consistent through all of the uh, software that we looked at. Um, obviously, these are ones that we are going to highlight in our uh, comparison tool, um, and as well as like guidance planning, um, just your kind of your basic uh, farm software. Uh, so, for example, um, one of the ones that we, we would be looking at, uh, along with many others, would be Ag Leader uh, SMS Advance. So, as you can see, we just start off with like a brief description. So, for example, uh, farm management uh, information software for spatial field and data management solutions. Uh, this would be either housed on your uh, desktop or uh, laptop, and this would be for growers, consultants, and anybody else working with the Precision Ag data. Uh, and then we would list the price uh, for uh, for this example. It'd be 19.95 a year, um, and then a, another additional cost for yearly support and maintenance uh, for with 4.95. And then just list the features. So uh, reads and uploads data from uh, Precision Ag displays, like Isaac mentioned, um, spatial data, generating prescriptions, so on and so forth. And at the end of at the end of all these uh, little, I guess um, uh, these little pages. We would have a link at the bottom uh, for you guys to go and get some more information to their uh, to their actual website, so that you can get any more information that you might that you might need. And we also wanted to incorporate to have some visual visuals for you, so maybe a screenshot or perhaps a uh, instructive video to help to help you kind of get the idea of what this this product is is doing for you. <clears throat> okay, so the next example is climate. Um, so. What Garrett had touched upon is we're going to have a side-by-side -side comparison. So what Zach was saying with SMS, now we have climate. Now we're going to put these right next to each other, uh, just like SMS. It has a brief description, a price of um, 
of each tier package, so uh, Prime Plus and Pro, and then you see the prices. And then the features, uh, for example, yield analysis, remote view, and weather reports. Um, so each package in regards to climate, we just have prices up there, but when we do side-by-side -side comparisons, you're going to see the features associated with each one of those packages. But it would be really helpful because we're going to have SMS up there right next to it. You'll be able to see them side-by-side -side and know which one you need more. Okay. okay, so some different things to keep in mind when considering a software. Um, maybe the size of your operation. What kind of operation do you have? The size of operation meaning 200 acres to 2,500 acres. That could take a, a big toll out of it. Um, the budget, um, always important. Uh, maybe a one-time cost or an annual cost um, or per acre cost. Um, what do we want to be able to do? So uh, do they have tileage plans? Do they have uh, different precision uh, software um, that, that will uh, fit your needs? And then uh, are you working with client data? Maybe you're... Maybe you're a uh, crop consultant. Do you want to be able to deal with multiple different clients, or do you want to just deal with me, the farmer? Do you want it to be a web-based or app-based? Some people like it on their phone. Some people like it on their computer. Maybe both. Something very important there. Um, how will you be supported? How well is that tech service? Can you be able to call them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or are they only open five days a week? How, how well do you want to be treated? Um, can you take a trial run? This is obviously quite a bit of money you're going to be spending for these kind of different softwares. So you want to be able to use it in a trial, at, trial base before you spend that kind of money. Uh, pretty important. And then always, always, technology is on the rise. It's always changing. So are we able to move that data into a different software if possible? Since technology is always going to be updating and doing this, this type of thing, um, how easy is it going to be to transfer that data? So, um, Some of the next questions, Garrett touched on a couple of them, is questions that you can bring to the dealer. We hope to bring this a little bit into our and answer some of those through our comparison tool. Um, the first question is, is can you export the data from, um, from your system? Say you want to switch systems. Say you uh, are say this system's out of date, can I use the data that I collected, say harvest 2014, can I go back to that and use my data uh, or and use that data um, to create a multi-year analysis now or is it now obsolete? Um, and then also um, when you're talking about maybe even switching entire systems, you want to look at the combat, um, compatibility. Um, a lot of systems now are getting very good at um, being able to essentially use other um, other systems' data and bring that in, um, but there are still some out there that don't uh, necessarily um, will, will actually will not work uh, with other um, systems formatting. They're just uh, not quite to that stage yet. So we hope to outline that, give you guys an idea of what exactly you're getting into when you're talking about switching a system. Um, and then also, can you use your reports, your data that you had before? There's a lot of discussion out there on whether or not um, you can actually go back in and take the data that you collected via soil maps and anything like that and use it for another, uh, for another software, or will that company, whoever, uh, whoever essentially you worked with before, want to keep that? Um, these are just some of the things that uh, we'll look at. The uh, dealer is obviously the person to ask mainly for this, but we hope to outline some of this in our comparison tool. All right, I'm going to skip ahead a few slides. We got them switched around here by accident. Uh, so this is the second uh, Slido question. So have you or are you considering upgrading to the next package? So let's say you have uh, that, that Climate Field View uh, Pro and you're looking to upgrade it to the next package. Uh, are you, are you, that's a, just a yes or no question. Uh, and even if you answer no, um, it's important to understand uh, maybe what, what uh, features and what uh, support is available in the next tier package for you. Um, so th some, some, th some things to look, uh, look for when determining what package to use. So as you guys know, uh, all kinds of products have several different tiers, we like to call them, uh, of packages that provide different features. Uh, we've kind of standardized it because some of them have maybe four or uh, three or four different packages. So we've kind of standardized it into the three uh, separate, uh, which would be basic, standard, and premium. Your basic would just be your free to uh, 
your, the cheapest option. That's the most limited uh, for each product. The standard is typically the most common uh, and has uh, a good variety of features available to it. And then, of course, premium would be the most expensive and has the full capabilities and support available to it. Uh, things to consider, obviously, we've touched upon as many times, would be price, the features included, as well as customer support. <clears throat> Okay, so once you've decided what package you're going to go with, uh, this is an example of SMS Basic versus Advanced. So you're trying to decide which tier package you want to use. So um, a big thing to look for is pricing, obviously. Uh, the Basic is $750 a year for SMS, and then the Advanced is $1995 a year. Um, the increased price, it comes from all the, f uh, the extra features that come from Advanced. As you can see on the right, I know it's hard to see, but um, Advanced is the right column. It has everything Basic does and then some, so that's where the extra price comes from. Um, the cost for support and maintenance is also a big one. Um, basic, 180 a year. Uh, advanced is 495 a year. The extra price comes from um, their SMS is support and maintenance, trying to deal with all the extra features that are involved with Advanced. Um, so, kind of the theme we're looking for uh, while we're here is uh, feedback. And so, if you can go to your uh, Slido uh, question again, we have another question: Is are you currently searching for new farm management software? It's a very simple uh, question. We're looking for as much feedback as we can get. Uh, you... Okay. Our our second question would be: uh, Do you like to use farm management software, or do you have someone do it for you? I know data is pretty important to keep to yourself if you don't want it, want it to go to a different uh, to a different dealer or someone that that'll run it for you. Um, would you rather have it in house or would you rather just not even deal with it? It's a lot of stuff to go over. Maybe send it somewhere else. And then finally, uh, just maybe we've piqued your interest today a little bit more about farm management software and you're a little in the dark about it and just would like some more information uh, in maybe some sessions going forward. Um, just a simple yes or no there, and um, with that, um, thank you very much for coming out and seeing us. Uh, uh, we have our contact information there, and we're more than welcome to uh, answer any questions that you might have. I would also like to take this time to ask, um, I do have a little pamphlet that is being passed around. Um, one of the things we're looking for is feedback directly from you guys. What is important? What is not important? What have we missed? What do we need to look at when you want to? What, what do you want in a precision ag software? I assume a lot of guys, in, uh, a lot of the people in here. Um, use it. Um, so we've developed a survey. Um, there is a URL on the page that you can use. You can keep that. You can type it in at your home computer or there is a QR code down at the bottom. Uh, feel free to use that if you can. Uh, if you have Snapchat, just take a picture of it. It will take you right to it. Um, our hope is, is to gather as much information. It's just a short survey. Um, just ask you a little bit about your background, what you're looking for in a precision ag, um, in a precision ag setting, and then also kind of give us a feedback on what to concentrate on. Um, that is kind of our hope through this is to kind of refine our search and not give you a bunch of data that you don't really need to know. If you don't really, thank you very much. Is there any questions from anybody? Oh boy. So, up to this point, how many software packages have you identified out in the next space that you started? So, we, we, we've got around 40, 45, 46 around there. So, we, got, we, we cover a broad range, whether it be cattle, whether it be um, soybeans, corn, that kind of stuff, too. So, we have a broad range of different technologies we're looking at. And, and Brent kind of alluded to the fact that we have, we, we've kind of broken into two distinct uh, categories. We have farm management software. Uh, package, some farm management software products, and then the other half of it was uh, farm predictive analysis uh, software as well. So, so maybe two add-on questions. I'm interested, as you guys know, I'm very interested. But we could, when would it be available to everyone, and possibly where would they find it once you guys get the project done? Yeah. So. It's going to be on a uh, uh, u.osu site that will be posted onto the uh, Precision Ag site on Ohio State's, uh, Ohio State's page. Uh, and we should be getting done here in the, hopefully in the next month, uh, but definitely by the end of the semester as well. So my, my advi our advisors back there are making sure, that, making sure that we are, in fact, getting it done. So. <laughs>
<laughs> so they can check back here in a month and a half to two months and, and should be able to find it and, and start using it. Absolutely, yeah. yep. Yeah. And don't be afraid to contact us if you have any ideas. We're always searching for new things. Our contact info is right there. You can take a picture of it. Um, I especially am always looking for new things to look at, new ideas that you need to focus on or things you're interested in. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. Uh, all right. Sorry about that. Sorry. We got plenty of time. <laughs> so I guess I guess one thing, just to tell them, because you know I think there's a lot of people trying to sort out what they need to be using or thinking about using for the data. But just up until this point, I mean, you went through some examples. I get that. But what's what's been your experience? What are some things that have really jumped out when you look at those whatever 40, 45 softwares? What are some things you guys have learned today? For me, I mean, we all have, we've broken it up, the 46 different products. We've broken it up in the, uh, between each other. Some of the ones that I've found are some foreign ones, like there's one called Farmeron, which is a Japanese company that uh, I thought was really neat because they've been developing these, uh, these somewhat collars for cattle to keep track of their day-to-day day-to-day uh, -day movements and stuff. So it's just stuff like that. Some of the ones that you probably haven't heard of um, but have been really cool, just interesting because, I mean, this has been a learning process for us too. We've encountered a lot of different uh, products. So, um, I guess for me personally, um, I stumbled across a, a company called Granular. Um, they do a very interesting uh, software package. Uh, you're pretty much basic farm management software, but they also have an acre value. So um, I guess from my home farm, we're looking to expand. Um, acre value allows you to go out and essentially look over um, uh, look over different plots of land that have sold around. It gives you data on tax uh, on tax things and actually gives you a value of what that land would be worth. Um, and if in some cases it actually has uh, uh, prior yield data so you can get kind of an idea of what that piece of ground would be worth in the long term. So that's just one to jump in. Any other questions? The question is blue to do if you guys have any employment have you guys got employment already or do you have some employment opportunities since you're seniors? Yeah, yeah. If, um, so I actually accepted a job at uh, Kubota Tractor Corporation over there in Groveport, Ohio. I'm going to be the division support specialist, so nothing to do with GIS mm -hmm. software, but um, hopefully with Kubota growing, we will start to get into that, so that's, that's mine. Yeah. Um, I had recently just accepted a job with uh, Novus Ag out of Milford Center uh, to sell chemicals, pesticide, herbicide, seed. Um, what I'll be doing is a sales support coordinator. Um, so I'll just be helping sales people out for 18 months, two years. Um, we, I do a little bit of stuff. I did. I worked with them for my internship, but I did a little bit with uh, pre uh, the precision ag aspect. I used a little system called iFarm. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's a pretty basic package. So. Yeah, for me, uh, I'm actually a double major in ASM as well as ag business management. Uh, so I actually will be uh, staying on for an extra semester this upcoming fall, uh, which I'm not too upset about as I get a little bit. Uh, I get some discounted football tickets, um, but. <laughs> So I actually have another internship this summer. Uh, I've, had, uh, I've had two past internships with uh, John Deere, uh, and this upcoming summer I'll be in Kansas City working with uh, doing some dealer training uh, with some John Deere dealers. So hopefully that leads to a job out of, out of college here. So. Um, so I currently don't have a position lined up for me. Um, my, uh, my whole thing into getting into precision, I'm actually looking for a job with uh, Trimble uh, uh, in Boulder, Colorado right now. Um, I've been talking with them for a while, so that's kind of my interest into precision ag, and that was a lot of uh, the reason I wanted to join this team so much is to get an idea of what else is out there.